Hi, this is Frank Klesitz, the CEO of Viral Marketing, where we help you market your passion and your expertise with web video to help you grow your business. And when you follow the viral marketing plan to get email addresses to build your database and to create educational content to position you as the expert, and then prioritize your follow-up for business with the people that watch that content, the question comes up, how exactly do you go about calling the people who watch your videos for business? In this video, you'll learn my top tips to do just that. I'm pumped to be here, man. I'm yeah, pumped to be a part of you guys. That's great as well as COI. And I heard nothing but great in the back from it. I haven't, uh, <laughs> haven't looked, uh, looked away ever since. Ah, prospecting, who doesn't love it? The act of actually going out and finding someone who wants to take an appointment with you and maybe hopefully buy whatever it is that you're selling. Because there's a big difference between being reactive, of sitting back and waiting for those people to contact you, waiting for them to make a purchase, or being proactive. And this is what makes the viral marketing plan so effective, is because today I'm gonna to share with you how to proactively reach out to the people who are watching your videos so you can make more money and less time by setting more appointments than waiting for people to come set appointments with you. So tip number one, you gotta actually get a list of the people who watch your video. It's more specifically a list of the people who click a link in an email that you're promoting the video with. So if you're using a professional email service provider like Constant Contact, Eye Contact, Vertical Response, any one of those programs, you'll be able to go in there and run a list of all the people that click the video inside your email. That's gonna give you a list of all the email addresses of the people that click through to watch your great content. But what happens if you don't have a phone number? What happens if you only have an email? Well, to get a phone number, here's my best tips. You would be so surprised with how much information you can find about someone online. First, Google the email address. You could probably find some great contact information on them. On top of that, if you have the first name and last name in your database, then simply go to sites like Pipple, P-I-P-L.com, or Spokeo, S-P-O-K-E-O.com, so you can reach out to them, introduce yourself, ask for any feedback on your videos of how they can get better, and see if they may be interested in referring you or setting an appointment to buy whatever it is that you're selling. And if you'd like more information actually how to get more emails and put more emails into your database, check out one of my previous videos on that topic. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Want me to go out there, Frank, and start calling all these people that may or may not know? What I'm gonna say, isn't that illegal? And this is what tip number two is. It's about getting your purpose right. Going from a scarcity mindset to a positive mindset. Because here's the thing, you have expertise that helps people. It's your mission to get it out. By you calling the people who are in your database, here's what you simply have to say. Hi, I'm Frank Closets. I see you subscribe to some of my videos I send out and I just wanna know if there's any other questions I can answer for you because I wanna make them useful and help you solve problems in your life. So you see I'm leading with value and giving. So if you get your purpose right as you're here to help others, you're here to improve the world, you're here to educate people with your great knowledge, you reaching out to people and asking for feedback is gonna be your in to maybe see if they might be interested in referring you or taking an appointment to hear more about whatever it is that you sell. So tip number three, time blocking your calling time. So here's the thing, if you made the decision that you wanna help more people and you wanna be proactive in getting business, you have to actually set aside time to actually make these calls. Now here's the thing, no one really likes making these calls. We don't like to hire people to make them, but it's best if you start making the calls yourself. So here's what you have to do. It's called time blocking. You block out a specific period of time to make those calls and you remove all distractions from yourself. All I wanna see is your list, I wanna see your phone, and maybe a computer so you can research more with somebody, but make sure you turn your email off. The best time to make your calls is in the morning because that's when people are most productive. Now I know you may be wondering, well no one's gonna answer the phone at that time. Well that's okay. Your contact rate of actually being able to reach people may be lower, but it's better you do that and actually get your calls made every day and to think you're gonna do it on the night or on the weekend or another time, your contact rate may be higher, but chances are you probably won't do it. The next step is actually practice what you're gonna say. So here's a script. Tom. Hey, Frank, how's it going? Thanks for watching my videos. No problem. I see you subscribe, and I was wondering if there's any other questions I can answer for you in my videos. Yeah, Frank, uh, I'd love to learn more about how to grow my database. So here's what you do. You have to set aside some time right before you make your calls to get yourself excited. Call up a partner, call up a friend and say, hey, I wanna practice me reading this to you and saying these things over the phone. So I get a feel for it first. And that way, when you actually have to go in live and call the people in your database, it makes it feel a lot more natural and much more easier to do it. Tip number five, track your numbers and get accountable. So actually first, I want you to get accountable. So what I recommend you do is you pull $20 out of your wallet and give it to somebody to hold you accountable. We have dials, we have contacts, we have leads. A dial is how many times you try to actually attempt to reach someone. It may take five, six, seven, 10, 20 dials 
of actually re trying to reach someone before you actually speak with them. If you speak with someone on the phone, that's a contact. Then from how many people you actually speak with after your attempts, someone who's actually interested in buying what you sell or referring you, that's a lead. So here's how this would work. No answer. Love voicemail. No answer. Love voicemail. Ooh, contact. Hi, I'm Frank Klesitz. I'm the CEO of Viral Marketing. I see you subscribe to some of my videos. And I was curious to know if there's any questions I can answer for you in some of my upcoming content. No? Okay, no worries. Well, while you have me on the phone, do you know of anyone who may be looking to buy what it is that I'm selling? No? Okay. Are you maybe interested in maybe setting up a time to visit with someone here at our firm? No? All right, no problem at all. The conversation could have easily gone a different way where they could have said, yes, I would love for you to share some new content on your videos. And yes, I do have something you should talk to because I love your content. You truly are an expert and I appreciate you reaching out to me. Here's somebody you should reach out to. How many dials is it gonna take for you to be able to speak with somebody on the phone? And then how many times do you have to speak with somebody on the phone before you get a lead? And when you know those conversion rates, you now have a predictable and duplicatable business. Good job, Frank. Oh, thank you. So I invite you to reach out to a senior partner of our firm, and let's talk about how we can help coach you to make more effective phone calls to your database, to the people who are watching your videos, so you can be proactive in getting more business instead of being reactive. So in summary, if you want to move from being reactive to being proactive to get business, you want to make sure you're calling the people who are watching your videos. Number one, you gotta get the list of the people who actually watch the videos from your email service provider. You gotta get your mindset right that you could truly help people and that's why you're reaching out. You have to time block your time to make sure you actually make your calls. Then get a role play partner to practice the I see you subscribe to my video script that I shared with you earlier here in this video. And then finally, you have to get accountable by getting an accountability partner, getting money out of your wallet, giving it to them, as well as tracking your numbers of how many dials, contacts, and leads you generated. I want you to go to our website. We publish a weekly newsletter every Saturday morning with the top videos, the top topics, and everything you need to know how to really get the most benefit by publishing videos for your audience. So remember, it always starts with a simple webcam video. So I wanna challenge you to make your very first educational web video. Turn on your computer webcam, turn on your tablet webcam, and answer a question that your customers commonly ask you. And let's get it up on YouTube, let's get it up on Facebook. I challenge you to do it. And if you send it into viral marketing, if you post it up on our YouTube channel as a video reply, or send it up on our Facebook page, we will give you feedback on what we can do to make it look better and sound great so you truly can scale your impact. So, Frank Clusett's Viral Marketing, and like I said before, I challenge you to go forth and scale your impact. If I don't do this, I'm gonna give my $20 to somebody. Okay, I will be making my calls now apparently.